Hey guys, welcome to Mike It Yourself. Today's video is going to be about using a front wheel tow dolly for a motorcycle. So, in the event you ever have to tow uh, a motorcycle, your, your motorcycle, uh, a friend's motorcycle, you don't have to go out and rent a trailer. Granted, they're not expensive to rent. This is a $99 solution that you can keep in the bed of your truck. You can keep in your garage. It's much easier to store than a trailer. And, um, you know, my point is I do a lot of bike work on my personal stuff and it's not always perfect. So sometimes I got to bail myself out, right? Um, so I went in and picked this up. Now, a lot of people leave re um, videos, or not a lot, but I guess there's a couple videos on YouTube about this particular model here. And what freaks people out the most is the bike, how the bike leans because that front wheel is propped up. And as you turn, naturally, because of how the motorcycle is engineered, it wants to lean when you take turns. So we'll take a look at that. But it's all about stability. Yeah. On another video, an individual actually welded a bar across here um, to give it a place to tie down uh, because he had a smaller truck and you know you could do it to your bumper but he didn't like that idea um, and neither do I I don't really care for the bumper concept so I went ahead and went with some soft straps that I picked up off of Amazon um, there was four in a box and I needed four because two for the truck and then I needed two for red here since red's got a, f a fairing on it. I can't get up to the handlebars. And um, so yeah, it was relatively cheap price. I think it was like 20 bucks for the box of straps. Um, this unit here is uh, 99 bucks if I haven't mentioned it already. And I'll provide the links to that in the description. When you buy the trailer setup or that tow dolly, they give you these straps here these are some not so sturdy straps i would not trust my bike with these things um you get four of them i would say use them for something else that you're not really worried about the weight on um and instead use ratchet straps um something like this i got these ones from harbor freight i'll put the link uh, below as well they might not be orange it might be a different color but same concept same strap relatively the same price so we'll go ahead and put this into the hitch receiver and um, get the bike and the undercarriage prepped. I'll show you how I do that. And then we'll put it on the tow dolly and go for a little spin. Okay, guys. So as I mentioned, you could do it to your bumper, strap this thing down to your bumper. But uh, my concern was that if you did that, it would potentially slide back and forth, um, regardless of how tight you put the straps on or the ratcheting strap uh, to your bike so what i'm going to do with this soft strap here is i've got uh, a couple of options i've got this kind of open space here of the frame and then i have this hole here where these wires kind of routed through so to avoid from getting up on these wires i'm just going to go through here with my soft strap so in your soft strap you'll find one side is like normal just like a regular belt or something like that and the other side's got a twist and that's because you pull the normal end through the twist right so you just kind of push that through and then you're going to want to uh, go ahead and put the good side through that and then you just pull down right and once you do that it is good to go so hopefully you guys can see that it's a little dark under here um but on the outside, now I have a place to latch my bike on. So I'm going to do the other side and get the ratcheting straps ready for the uh, bike to get rolled up on. Okay, guys. So I got the soft straps on. The uh, hitch piece is ready to go. Um, like I said, lowered it using the lever here. And got that lined up recommend you get your straps on your bike before you start trying to move it around because once you get it up on there you're gonna to have to use another hand to kind of keep it steady and this will actually just help you in the long run so get everything ready and then put it up on the trailer so let's go ahead and do that
Okay, so you can see it was relatively easy for me to get the bike up in the um, the dolly there. So what I'm going to do is um, kind of loosely put the straps on so that way it helps it with stabilization here because I am on a little bit of a downhill due to my um, driveway. Uh, so it'll just kind of help it overall. Okay guys, so I got this thing up and loaded. It's ready to go. Um, just kind of went back and forth with the straps just to get it centered up. And then if you did notice in the video, I, uh, I did push it up a little further. Like I said, those bolts get a little bit in the way so they rub the tire. So once you get past them though, of course you're fine. And then pulling it out, it's not a big deal. Um, so it doesn't, uh, I, I don't have any concern with it like ruining my tire. Um, and that's with this tire. I haven't tried it with the Harley yet. Um, but it's very sturdy. So, I mean, as I shake this, it ain't going nowhere. The bike is solid. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean up this strap. Uh, laying on the floor, just the excess there. Tie it up. And then we're going to take this for a spin. The other thing you want to look for is kind of where your fender sits. So this one is really hung low on the backside. So if you're like this, like mine, you just want to be mindful of that as you're driving and going up driveways and stuff like that, speed bumps, whatever. Um, you should actually be fine because the speed bump's going to hit that rubber first, uh, which will raise it up and get you hopefully clear of it. But something to be mindful of and uh, adjust for. So again, more the reason why I put that angle on there to ensure that um, I'm not dragging the rear fender here. Uh, I don't intend to go very fast at all uh, because again it's it's just made for an emergency use only I'm not going to be using this to transport my motorcycle you know 200 miles or something from here this is I need to get bailed out and don't have a trailer so this is what I'm using okay guys so we're all loaded up and uh, we're gonna go for a little drive here and you can kind of see how the bike is gonna lean from side to side as we uh, kind of move along the turns here. And I want you to take note of the handlebars. The handlebars actually stay they stay straight, right? But you'll see that fender, it's gonna, it's gonna look like the bike's falling over and, and uh, we'll, we'll get out in a turn so you can see how steady it actually is. So as I make this right hand turn, that bike is dipping heavy to the left, right? So people who have, uh, done their own videos on this or reviews of the the, the hitch deal um, they were like well I, you know no way that thing's gonna fall over um, and and I was kind of concerned about that myself but uh, there was another video that I saw where the person had said that's just normal it's not a big deal it's the dynamics of the motorcycle itself and uh, after trying it out because of the cost of the, the trailer they're absolutely right um, this is just uh, pretty simple so as soon as we can get to a, a good spot where we can actually turn and I can leave it in its turn position, um, I'll show you how this thing looks from the outside.
Okay, so let's take a look at what this thing looks like in a turn. As you can see, the bike's in a pretty good lean, um, but that front wheel is still locked in that trailer hitch. It ain't going nowhere. Um, if I come over and, and try to rock this thing, like I said, it's not falling over. Um, you know, it's just gonna be the normal process of, of towing this bike. So um, that's just what it looks like. The uh, trailer hitch has no problems. Okay guys, so we're back at the house and as you saw, relatively decent um, experience, no issues at all. Um, we didn't get going too, too fast because uh, it's getting dark and I'm not trying to drive around with this uh, at the moment. So I am going to use it again to do my idling test, um, hopefully this weekend. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just show you to take it off the uh, trailer and be done with it. Okay, and that's all it takes to get your bike off of the lift. You can go ahead and bring it back up, collapse it and pack it away in the back of your truck, along with your straps and you're good to go. So I just wanna say thank you for watching the video for your support. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you know when my next video comes out. I try to make a cadence of uh, every Sunday morning. So, uh, you know, each Sunday morning, you should have an opportunity to view my next video. And I do want to let you all know, with these products that I do put in the description, some of them, um, I am an Amazon affiliate. So that just means if you click um, and you place an order on any of these products, uh, my channel does get support from that. Um, not at any cost to you, but uh, just part of their affiliate program. Uh, but I, I don't really care what product you buy. Um, I just want to provide you with what I have in my um, videos. So that way, if you want to mimic the same thing, great. If you don't want to buy that product, you want to go to your local store, that works too. Whatever works best for you. Um, as long as you're doing it yourself and you're not relying on others. And that's the whole point of my channel. So again, thank you all for watching and hope to see you on the next video.